When will terrorism end? Today it seems to be a fact of life. Is it possible to get out of the quagmire? What will be the result? What's in store for mankind? Believe it or not, Bible prophecy has plenty to say about the outcome. Is it really possible, though, to know your future? Not if you turn to fortune tellers, mediums, or the tabloids. Their predictions amount to nothing. But the Bible is different. It contains hundreds of detailed prophecies and shows many of those predictions were fulfilled centuries later. God has also revealed specific events for the future, and He promises to bring to pass what He's foretold. Now, does the Bible really tell us of terrorism? Yes. In fact, it goes back to the root of terror, to the story of a family feud between the sons of Abraham. Did you know that three major religions all trace their origins back to Abraham? Christians and Jews trace back to Abraham's son Isaac, and Islam, the Muslims, to his son Ishmael. Your Bible predicts a catastrophic climax at the end of the age when the descendants of Ishmael and surrounding nations enter into an agreement to destroy Israel. Does that story sound familiar? A world embroiled in war is coming. Ultimately, it's a spiritual battle between good and evil. Evil is out to thwart God's plan. His plan is to bring mankind into his own spiritual family. And yet man will bring himself to the brink of extinction. Survival is possible only through the source for real peace, Jesus Christ. We must dedicate ourselves to living his way of peace. We need to change our lives. We need to repent and obey God's word. We don't have to live under the fear of terrorists. War and terrorism will end. Jesus Christ will return and crush the evil of this world and establish His everlasting kingdom of peace. And that's when terrorism ends. For Beyond Today, I'm Steve Myers.